Sean and Zach have been here in uh, staying with me for the last uh, weekend, for the oh, last right. couple days, and we've gone into West Hollywood and so forth. And, and Zach has been away in New York, and Sean has been in San Francisco. They haven't been around for a long time. There's a new bar in, in West Hollywood, oh, in geez. the heart of West Hollywood, uh -huh, where uh -huh. all the gay men and women live. Is that East West? It is called East yeah. West, and it refuses to call itself a gay bar. And every employee in the bar, when asked, as Zach went to every employee and queried them, is yes. this a gay bar? And they all had the exact same response, which was, Zach? They said, we don't really like to think of ourselves as a gay bar. We welcome everybody into the into the fold here. Yeah. We like to have oh, everybody... Sick. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what, so they're, they're trying right. to limit the labeling so they have a, a host of, I, of sexuality. Well, here's the deal. It's as if it's as if when a bar was considered a gay bar, heterosexuals were not allowed into it. Which you know, was which never was the, never the case no, anyway. But no. they're in the heart of West Hollywood. Right. I don't know about you guys, but I have a problem with a bar that sets up shop in the middle of West Hollywood where 90% yes. of the people who walk in there are going to be gay. Yeah. And the people at this bar refuse to say... We are a gay bar. Well, obviously, they were told that by the owner or the manager. Even if they had said, we're a mixed bar, I would right. have been like, okay, fine, I don't like it, but gay that's straight. okay. Yeah. Gay, gay straight. Gay straight. Gay straight. Gays welcome straight. Welcome, welcome, like, welcome everyone. But no, they would not no. say the word it gay. Very, really? They would not say the word gay. Very zen, very we Sounds welcome like everybody. And I was like, you know what? Don't come from Kabbalah class and tell me this. <laughs> Zach and I, Zach and I went in there and I said, Zach, there's this upstairs lounge area. They used to, when the bar was called Revolver and drinks were like 50 cents and there was like straw on the floor and then it was a real gay <laughs> and, bar and back in the day. Live, and I used yeah. to live right around the corner. You live right around the corner. And now Revolver is gone. It is now East West, you know, Lit palm trees, you know, all Do this kind of stuff. Do they still have the revolving door? No, no. revolving door. They, they have no, a doorman now and a little red carpet. It's so pretentious, but we went in because we, <laughs> we're, we're are pretentious. <laughs> and uh, we go in and there's an upstairs lounge area with a big glass wall where you can look down at the bar. And I was telling Zach all about it. And I said, oh, I'll show it to you. We'll go in. So we go in and we politely ask the bartender as we order our two drinks, twenty-one fifty. Thank you for Thank buying you them, for Zach. for a vodka tonic. Oh, vodka my. tonics, twenty-one fifty at East West. <gasps> uh, we go upstairs to the lounge area because the bartender, I said, can we go upstairs? Can I show it to him? He said, yes. We go up to the lounge area. We sit down. Apparently, we were not allowed in the lounge area. Up comes some little 21-year-old old shithead a in a little black suit, uh -huh. you know, the yeah. manager on duty. He's like, no, he gentlemen. Wasn't even, no, he wasn't even the manager yet. Well, I don't know what he was, but <laughs> no, he was. No, no, the manager didn't come up at first. He was, was gunning wait, was for this, a promotion. Was the, was, this is the assistant manager, yeah, right? 21. The, the, the manager 21. is 25. <laughs> he comes up. He comes up. He's like, gentlemen, are, are you two uh, members? And members of like, the upstairs Ooh. club? You have to be members to walk up the stairs. He said member. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Now, had you responded that way, it would have been much funnier. But Zach and I had had a couple drinks in this, so we got very aggressive at this right. point. Because this used to be our corner bar. I, I know. And I understand other people yeah. have taken it over now, and you have to follow the new rules. We asked, what does it cost? How much does it cost to become a member here at East West, the most pretentious <laughs> and, bar on the West they Coast? said, yes. $1,200. $1,200. To go upstairs and sit in that stupid uh, little lounge, which is the size of this stupid little studio. No, no. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Are there any? Hold on. Besides for being you. Uh, besides for being allowed to go upstairs into yes. this area. Yeah. With the twelve hundred dollars, right. are there? Do you get any other benefits? You we get don't like no. You, you get like. They wouldn't tell us. I, I said. So what else do you get for twelve hundred dollars? And right. the little shithead didn't know. There's. He's like, oh well. I said twelve hundred dollars. That's ridiculous to sit up here. He says, oh well. There's other benefits that you get as well. And I said, well, what are they? And right. he said, well, that's how oh, well, clearly. Busy too. Yes. He's like, oh, well, clearly, clearly you guys don't want to, you don't want to hear what, what, I, hear what, what I have to say. And, and I said, all, I just asked you, oh what do you get for $1,200? Like, no, 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 well, forget yeah, it, forget and, it, forget and, it. And, you know, I'm a pushy New Yorker now, so. Yes. <laughs> I Thank God you're with it. me. That's what I, I know. Have to so say. then I'm like, I'm like, okay, you, I want to hear from you. Is this a gay bar? Right. It's like, well, you know, we really don't like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's it. I just play Wait, my as he's queening out, And I'm like, Gary, we're out of here. And Gary's like, no, we don't want to stay. I want to find out what other benefits. No, nope. but what? that wasn't that wasn't I because was trying that was, to make whoa, a whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't because I wanted to become a member, because God no, knows know, I've got twelve hundred dollars to spend to walk upstairs and look through a pane of glass. $1, but I wanted to know, I knew I wanted to know what you got for twelve hundred bucks. This pretentious shithead bar <laughs> called East West in West Hollywood. And if I have any say in it, it is going down the tubes and I'm yeah. gonna do everything I can I, to make well, sure that it does. I have but the I email said address. I'm like, what else? Okay, wait, hold on, we'll give that we'll in just a minute. But I said, well, what else do you get? And finally he muttered, uh, you get like 20% off at Knott's Berry Farm or something like ridiculous. 
ridiculous like that. It was like so stupid. For twelve hundred dollars, you know, it's just absolutely. What is the what is the email address? Uh, I'll get it after the break. If you don't like, you know what? After the break, we'll, 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 we'll scroll it right here on the bottom. We'll put it in as a graphic okay, later. And yes. and it doesn't matter if you've been to West Hollywood and you don't like East West. Just believe yeah. me. You like me. Email them and tell them you don't like their attitude. And, and I want to ask, and I'll ask you two on camera three, and I'll ask you here on camera one. Is it okay for a bar in West Hollywood to, to no. do all that they can to avoid the word gay? I don't understand what they're trying to do by doing that. It's obviously the most gay area in Los Angeles where people come to be gay, to be comfortable, to be themselves. Yes, but. Wrist butts, yes. Hands is up. A whole lot of straight people and a whole lot of strollers in West Hollywood. Okay, but let me tell oh, you something. Yeah. We've talked you, about this yeah, on the show. Before. We have, especially at the Abbey, but you know what? Regardless of whether or not you call That's yourself true. a, a yes. gay bar, gay club, gay right. disco, whatever. Straight people have always been there. I mean, ever I since think straight I people want to go to something called I, a gay bar I, or a gay disco. Yeah. They think that they're like really crossing some sort of exactly. taboo line. Exactly. They go to their stupid little office and talk to their little <laughs> secretary friends on Monday. Oh, we went to a gay bar. Oh my God, the movie <laughs> just loved me. We, we had a bachelorette party at a gay bar. Yes. <laughs> How many bachelorette parties did we see this weekend 17. at the Abbey? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God. It's true. It's true. The days of of, of West Hollywood being a Exclusive. gay mecca and yeah. and. Not not even exclusively gay, but primarily gay, seem yeah. to be dwindling. Or at least, and I have a problem with that. Well, now, and, and it's it's the I don't question. This happens in every big city. Once we move in, find a place, then we make it popular. The straights move in, then we got to find some place else. So now, where are we going to go? Compton. There's no place left. There's like, <laughs> there's, there's yeah, like Inglewood. Holy <laughs> Inglewood. <crap. laughs> Look at oh, our it's age. True. It's true, and uh, I, I, we there were a lot of women. We ended up at the Abbey, which is still the Abbey has a very gay attitude. There are a lot of gay straights combo there, <laughs> true. right? But I'm, I'm saying they would never. If you were to say, "Is this a gay bar?" They'd be like, "Oh hell yeah, it is." You know, no, what I mean, true. like the no. attitude would be like, "We are not going to deny that we're yeah. a gay bar." Can you do that one more time? Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> so, hell, hell yeah, I can. Have you know, the other thing that's developed at the Abbey over the years, though, they're they're not saying they're not a gay bar, you know, because right. they they welcome everyone. They would if you asked. You know, oh, maybe, but right. have you noticed would. that over the years since we've been going there, six, seven, eight years, that 13. and thirteen years, <laughs> seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> oh my god, seventeen. But that um, since eighteen eighty-four. Not only, not only. I used to take my pet rock there. <laughs> But not only are the uh, the bar most of the bartenders are straight, straight. because yeah, they good. know they could but make more hot. money. They're totally hot, of course. But so also, I don't care. The security, most of them straight. straight. We're friends with the manager. Most of them hot. Most of them hot. Exactly. David so, knows what he's well, doing. He, at the David end. does but, know what he's. Yes. But the security team, you kind of want them to be straight. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah I can uh, 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 I know you did. You have to go. There was go. there was a little incident, and then this is the one problem. Uh, Sean was there. Zach yeah. wasn't there. This was last night. Uh, lots of girls at the Abbey. Right, you've seen Not you saw the, the bridal shower. You've seen the bridal yes, showers there before. And the strollers girls and losing Abbey. control. Right. They, all this kind of stuff. Right. Well, what is becoming a regular situation is that some chick. Overdoes it and oh, you know drops the- dead out front the abbey. <laughs> and last night, well, I, was she dead? Hey, it's a uh, price you gotta pay. Yeah. <laughs> girls a- gone wild, we have. I girls guess. gone wild, we have. Thank you. That's, that's exactly what it is. This is because they're petite like, bodies. They tend to get drunk a lot issues. faster than she, men. She, though, right? she OD. Uh, well, you know. Oh, it, she. Oh, uh, there was something. She was shaking and. Oh my God. Firemen came and had to come and take her off. Hot firemen. Sean and I started faking symptoms as well. Thinking that we could fall down and do that. Mouth, mouth to mouth. Hey, you're watching for the boys. Ch-ch-ch. You'll have your chance. We're going to egg boil these uh, two and the third extra special guest off camera. Just hang tight. And They're thank mouthing. You. It's right out high. All over right. They just won't can it. <laughs> Shut up, guest. Zach Alicious is next. You are watching For the Boys. And you know what? For girls, too. Hang tight. Yeah, everyone's welcome.